Breaking news, my lovely, wonderful people. Just in, opposition parties moves against APC as tissue for sp speakership heightens. Not be smart, you know. You know the Speaker of the House of Representatives, Femi Bajagbemila, um, you know, it has to be replaced. Yeah, it has to be replaced. And so many things are coming up with regards to the replacement, who will replace him, and what a view all that is going on. And every single person can see for a fact and for themselves some of these things that are going on as Nigerians begin to wonder what really are we in terms of getting reality and getting things done decently and in order. Yeah, Muhammad Buhari um, is leaving uh, less than 40, 45 days to go. Yeah, as well as our very own brother, uh, President-elect, is looking forward to inauguration. So as we speak, um, he's abroad and he has begun to currently and presently, you know, put things together, and show, uh, putting his cabinet together, putting people together. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, like us, share, subscribe. Just in, opposition parties moves against APC as tissue for speakership heightens. <clears throat> the coalition of members select of the House of Representatives in the monthly uh, parties meeting has finally declared that the, the, their bid for the office of the Speaker of the 10th National Assembly will stand. Arising from the closed-door meeting in Abuja on Thursday night, monthly caucus states stated that it was out of contest for the speakership seat with the All Progressive Congress, claiming that the ruling All Progressive Congress has lost its majority status in the 10th Assembly after the supplementary 2023 general election. A prominent member of the House of, of the People Democratic Party who does not want to be mentioned, who had on Tuesday told our correspondent that there were interesting times ahead, forwarded the resolution reached at the meeting on Thursday night. The resolution party said beyond by its numerous supervisory position in the 10th assembly of the representative the emergence and monthly caucus meeting greater majority have resolved to gone down the speaker's position following the outcry of the saturday supplementary election membership of the monthly caucus have sworn to 182 one vote and the statutory bank bank benchmark required elected a speaker with prospect of painting more bringing in more members although there are prominations to promote a speakership candidate from the south south zoo political zone and a deputy speaker from the northwest rising from an emergency meeting on the monthly caucus leadership held on held at the Transcurp Hutin Hotel, Abuja, the caucus made up of seven political parties, stated emphatically that it was it was pained to contest the position of the speaker and the deputy speaker of the tenth National Assembly. The opposition lawmakers argued that the nineteen ninety nine conclusion constitution raises concern on elected members with a statutory right to go down for any position subject to the standing order of the house so this is what is happening there are um, issues with regards to who will take over uh, who will be in charge and what a view with regards to positions currently ongoing as every single person is wondering and we're all looking at it and wondering what could possibly you know come out of all this so there are very serious matters you know presently ongoing and we all are waiting carefully to see how you know these issues we pain out you know nigerians it is a matter of um, importance that we understand our leaders for over how many years let's start from the uh Let's start from the very first person, uh, Senate President, 
Senate President Ahmed Lawa has been there since 1999. To 2009, that's 10 years. 2019, that's 20 years. How do you expect such people to make laws that will really govern you properly, correctly, and orderly? Is it not the same old, the same old, the same old? Do you understand? So when we are voting, we should not just focus our attention on just the president or governors. You know, we usually turn a blind eye. To the House of Representatives, to the Speaker of the, to all those positions, we turn a blind eye. And at the end of the day, they get nominated into position and we are suffering the backlash of some people we never envisage or, you know, plan of coming into, you know, such position. So it is a matter of urgent attention and every single one of us must understand where we stand, you know, must understand what is going on and we must take you for the fact that Nigerians... It is, uh, it is an opportunity for us to really make the difference, you know. So these people, are all they are sorting out, by the, by the way, they are just sorting out themselves. They are not really concerned, you, both are, you know, about the Nigerian people, you know, legislations and laws that they could make that could really channel and transform things. Basically, what most of them are looking out for is things that will practically and particularly help them and benefit them. And so we must be careful. When we make a choice and when we are chosen, we must become very, very careful. You know, we must not choose things just because we want to choose. We must be very careful. We must be very, very, you know, we must, very, we must be vigilant to know exactly who we are picking and for what position. Because they will be the ones that will determine the laws that is passed. Whether you like it or not, you may not like it, but sadly, that is the reality. So when we are picking these people, we must not be blinded. We must understand that these people, uh, they determine you know, what the law says because they can amend, re-amend and what have you. So it is a matter of urgent attention and every single individual needs to understand this and we need to really you know, rise up quickly and ensure that we come out of everything and anything that will not really help us get to that desired position where truly, sincerely, we could really make a whole lot of difference. So it is a matter of urgent attention, Nigerians, that every one of us, you know, rise up to it and we do everything, humanly speaking, possible for the change to come. Remember, you have a voice. Yes, please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Like us, share, subscribe. Click on the notification button so you can have all our latest news. God bless. Have a good day. Bye for now.